President Kamege, welcome to Israel. Welcome to Jerusalem, the capital city of Israel. Mr. Prime Minister Netanyahu, Foreign Affairs Minister of Rwanda. I know, I know this is not your first time here, but every visit to Jerusalem is special. And I know that this visit in particular uh, will serve the strengthen of friendship and the friendship between our peoples. Mr. President, I want to, to congratulate you on your recent speech in APAC, at APAC. And I would like to use words to say, your words to say, Israel, without question, a friend of Rwanda. We are two nations who understand the horror of genocide. And we must show what humanity can achieve with cooperation and understanding. Indeed, we are not just friends through Mashav and other cooperation and partnership. We are working together to solve some of the biggest issues facing humanity, water and food security. Your Excellency, we appreciate the work done by your foreign minister who has visited here and attended the funeral of the late President Shimon Peres, God bless his soul. She has been a strong voice in supporting Israel. We know that Rwanda is now going to be a member of the UN Human Rights Council. This is a body which is always against Israel, unfortunately. So we welcome all those, all those who are prepared to speak for us. And we appreciate your support very much. It is a pleasure, it is a pleasure once again to welcome you here in Jerusalem. God bless you and all the people of Rwanda. I would like to ask the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, to welcome you, please. Thank you, President Rivlin, for expressing uh, what uh, all Israelis feel when it comes to Rwanda, when it comes to you, uh, President uh, Kagame, your foreign minister, your delegation. You are welcome from the heart, from our hearts, uh, to the heart of our people, Jerusalem. You are coming back here. This is not the first time. But I can say that in one of our earlier meetings, I would voiced the hope that Israel could come back to Africa in a big way, and that Africa could come back to Israel in a big way. And we discussed this for some time. And you said, well, I think I can help. And in fact, you did help. I would say you were the indispensable bridge on which we marched to make our return to Africa, step by step, with very sound advice, very, very wise counsel. And together, we, we charted this course, coming first to West Africa, where we visited, among other things, your beautiful country, uh, which is making impressive progress under your leadership, and then other countries as well, and then West Africa, and we'll be making a third trip very soon, in one year. Uh, but I have to say that it began with my conversations with President Paul Kagan. So I want to thank you, Paul, for helping Israel helping Israel in Africa, helping Israel in general. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> President Rivlin has already mentioned the fact that we have, we possess, uh, both of our peoples, a tragic legacy, ours in the Holocaust, you in the great genocide that uh, befell your people. Um, I'm not sure how many uh, of my Israeli compatriots know that President Kagame personally uh, 
led the military effort that put a stop to this carnage uh, after more than a million people were butchered, a million children, women, defenseless men. Uh, and with your courage, you put an end to this and began rebuilding this torn nation. Uh, and we could see the impressive gains that you were making. In fact, it is our, one of our deepest pleasures to be able to cooperate with you in rebuilding your state, rebuilding it in agriculture and water and so many other areas in security as well. Uh, we have pledged, I think, both our peoples one simple pledge, never again, never again. We who witnessed the greatest Holocaust in history, you who have witnessed perhaps one of the most recent ones, never again, that's another great bond between us. Uh, you have been uh, a consistent friend to us, first in our bilateral relations. We don't forget that your foreign minister visited us during our travails in Gaza. Uh, you sent her as a show of uh, friendship and solidarity. But we also see how you stand up for Israel in international forums. Uh, and we, uh, you already express a simple principle that we believe in, that is that Bilateral relations should be reflected in multilateral forms. There is a, a dissonance, obviously, between us and quite a few uh, nations still. We saw that in the absurd vote in UNESCO that said that, uh, well, King David there, depicted there with a the harp. King David was not in Jerusalem. He was in Tibet. Uh, his son, Solomon, didn't build the temple here. He built it in... Uh, South America, I don't know. I mean, it's absurd, the whole denial of history, the denial of the Bible. Uh, these absurdities still take place in international forums, and they do damage to those forums. They cannot change the truth. But it happens to be uh, uh, my hope that over time, over a decade, this will change in international forums. There is one country that I can say categorically, it doesn't require a change. It already speaks its mind and speaks the truth in our bilateral relations and in the international relations. And that's Rwanda under the leadership of uh, President Paul Kagame. This is why, another reason why, we welcome you here in Israel with open hearts, open arms. Welcome, Mr. President. Excellency Reverend Vivrin, President of the State of Israel. Right Honorable Prime Minister, my friend Benjamin Netanyahu, senior officials, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. I'm very pleased to be back in Israel and I would like to thank the President, the Prime Minister, and the government of Israel for this opportunity to reaffirm and deepen our very friendly relationship between Israel and Rwanda. Cooperation between our countries has blossomed in many areas, among them technology, and agriculture, and energy, as well as security. We appreciate what Israel has to offer in these and other fields, and we are very happy to be working with you. Trade and investment links have also multiplied. Rwanda is open for business, and we look forward to welcoming private sector delegations from Israel even more frequently in the future. Ever since the Prime Minister's historic visit to East Africa last year, Israel has continued to follow through on its commitments and objective of scaling up engagement across Africa. This is a very positive trend 
which can only be welcomed and merits our support. We are looking forward to reinforcing our collaboration with Israel on common challenges and issues of mutual interest. Thank you once again for the very kind words from President Rivlin, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, and uh, thank you once again for hosting our delegation today and for honoring the special ties of friendship that connect our nations. Thank you so much.